Hello listeners, this video discusses A Clockwork Orange, which is written by Anthony Burgess. Anthony Burgess is an English writer whose full name is John Anthony Burgess Wilson, born in the year 1917, died in the year 1993. Burgess was primarily known for comic writing. His dystopian satire, A Clockwork Orange, this remains the best novel out of all other works. The novel A Clockwork Orange was adapted into film by Stanley Kubrick. The film was popularly responsible for the popularity of the novel. Burgess has also produced numerous other novels including Ender by Quarter and earthly powers he has also written screenplays and libretto libretto is a text which is used as an extended musical work such as an opera he has written mini tv series jesus of nazareth he has also worked as literary critic for several publications that include the observer and the guardian he has also wrote studies of classic writers especially for James Joyce as a composer Burgess has composed over 250 musical works more than an author he has considered himself to be a composer although he has achieved considerable success in writing let us have an overview of the novel a clockwork orange this is a dystopian satirical black comedy before we begin the novel let us see the meaning of dystopian fiction a dystopia or dystopian fiction is a portrayal of society where there is great suffering or injustice in other words an imaginary place where people are unhappy and usually afraid because they are not treated fairly we are more familiar with the word utopian utopian is the opposite word of dystopian the meaning of utopian is a model or an aiming for a state in which everything is perfect idealistic in other words it is an imaginary or ideal town which is not real the word utopia comes from greek autopus that means no place or nowhere the novel a clockwork orange published in the year 1962 it is set in near future society that has a youth subculture of extreme violence the protagonist of this novel is alex who is in teen age he narrates the violent exploitation and his experiences with state authorities that intend on reforming him the book is partially written in a influence from russian argot called nazit argot is a jargon or a language of a group who is often employed to exclude or mislead people outside the group argot is also mentioned as nazit Nazit is a fictional register used by teenage gang members. This word is mentioned in this novel by Burgess, influenced from the Russian usage, which is similar to the English usage "teen." In the year 2005, the novel was included on Time magazine's list of 100 best English language novels written since 1923. in the year 2022 the novel was also included on the big jubilee read list of 70 books by commonwealth authors selected to celebrate the platinum jubilee of elizabeth ii the novel has three parts part 1 is alex world part 2 is the ludovico technique part 3 is after present this video contains the whole summary of the novel that also includes the three parts let us see the characters of this novel first is alex who is the narrator and the protagonist of the novel 
Alex is a smart Natsit. Natsit is a teen boy, which I have already mentioned in the introduction. He has a deep love for classical music. Next is Alexander. He's a writer who lives in cottage called home. H-O-M-E. The minor characters are Dim, P.T., George, Billy Boy, the prison chaplain, the minister of the interior, the Satya governor, Dr. Brodsky, Dr. Branagh, P and M, Joe, Deltoid. Let us see these minor characters when we'll deal the summary of the novel. Let us have a small analysis of this novel before we deal the summary. This novel takes place in futuristic city which is governed by a repressive totalitarian super state and in this society ordinary civilians have fallen into a passive stupor of complacency. The citizens face the violent nature of youth culture. The protagonist of this novel is Alex and the story revolves around him. Alex is a 15-year-old boy who narrates in a teenage slang which is called as Natsit and this word Natsit incorporates elements of Russian and Cockney English. Alex leads a small gang of teenage criminals and those criminals are Dim, P.T. and George. These men, they rob through the street, they beat men on road and they rape women. Burgess has written this novel in Hove. Hove is an English seaside town. Burgess has arrived in Britain and he looked at the youth culture. It had developed based around coffee bars, pop music and teenage gangs. Burgess' inspiration for this novel's script is from his first wife Lenny's beating by a gang of drunk American servicemen in England during World War II. Subsequently, his wife went through miscarriage. The novel has the concept of behaviorism. Burgess has derived this concept from B.F. Skinner. B.F. Skinner is an American psychologist, behaviorist, author, inventor and social philosopher. Burgess has written this work in three weeks. Let us see the summary of this novel. As I said, the novel revolves around Alex and his friend who spent their time at the Korova Milk Bar, which is a place that serves milk laced with drugs and a bar called the Duke of New York. Alex is the narrator of this novel. He begins his narration from the Korowa where the boys sit around drinking. When the boys and Alex, they leave the bar, they go on a crime spear that involves mugging, robbery, gang fight, auto theft, breaking, raping and entering the houses. They are too brutal and practice Severe crimes. The boys travel to a countryside with their stolen car. They break a cottage and beat up the man inside the house. In front of him, the boys rape his wife. They then move back to Korowa where they begin fighting each other. Alex loves classical music. He gets angry at Dim when Dim mocks an opera that Alex likes. Alex beats Rim in the face. He gave a big punch on his face. This prompts the others to turn against their arrogant leader. They reconcile in some time. The next day they go out. They again break into a old women's house. She then calls the police. Alex could not move away from the house because Dim hits him on his eye with a chain and runs away with the others, leaving Alex. The police catch Alex and they take him to the station where he comes to know that the women he has beaten and raped 
during the earlier robbery has died. Alex is now sentenced to 14 years in prison. At first, prison seems to be difficult for him. The guards were merciless and oppressive and they give several punishments. As years pass by, prison life becomes easier to Alex. He befriends the prison champlain who notices Alex's interest in the Bible. The champlain instructs Alex to read Bible in the chapel while listening to the classical music. Later that day, a new prisoner is introduced to Alex's cell. The new prisoner tries to molest Alex. Along with other cellmates, Alex turns beating him in retaliation. The new prisoner dies after Alex has beaten him and the other cellmates blame Alex. The minister of the interior decides Alex will receive the experimental treatment, reclamation treatment. As days pass, one day under the supervision of Dr. Brodsky and Dr. Brano, Alex is given drugs and forced to sit through hours of violent films. After hours of watching violent films, he becomes sick. On a particular film that plays Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, in which Nazi war crimes are portrayed, Alex gets furious of watching this film because he finds the music to be his favorite. Finally, after hours of watching the films, he is released and he is brought in front of an audience and assaulted. But his aversion towards violence after watching the film makes him unable to fight back. After years of prison life, he returns to his home and finds that his parents have replaced him with a lodger named Joe. Alex is now homeless. He resolves to kill himself. He happened to meet a scholar whom he has assaulted years earlier. The old man, that is a scholar, and his friends together beat Alex until the policeman arrived to break up the fight. His friends Dim and Billy Boy have become police officers and they take him to the countryside and abandon him. At this point, Alex enters the same cottage where he earlier went with his boys and raped a woman in front of her husband. The same man could not recognize Alex. He takes him in and nurses him back to his health. The home owner is named Alexander. Alexander hopes to use Alex as a political device. But some of the enemies take Alex to an apartment. In the apartment, he is locked inside a room and he is forced to listen to a classical music. Listening to the classical music for hours, he tries to jump out of a window in a suicide attempt. He is taken to hospital and is fined that he has received a blood transfusion which has nullified his reclamation treatment. Now in the hospital, he finds that Alexander has been in prison, that Alexander has taken revenge on the lethal rape of his wife and threatened the life of Alex. After days, when nobody is around, Alex tries to get back to his old lifestyle with a new group of drogues. But at present, he is less interested in causing violence. He joins with P.T. P.T. who is married and Alex, observing his life, decides that he has grown up and no longer wanted to cause violence to the society and wishes to settle down and live harmlessly. Let us see the themes of this novel. First is language because... Nazit is a slang which is taken from Russian usage. In the novel, Alex's language is chaotic of high and low. More jargon words are used in the novel exclusively by Alex. 
Next is Clockwork Orange. This is a phrase appears within the book as a reference to Alexander who is a polemic figure against reclamation treatment because there is a therapy used in this novel to treat Alex. Reclamation treatment, it tries to enable the criminals to think about violence without experiencing extreme pain. Art and humanity. The sound of the favorite music of Alex seems to induce a more humane, respectful temperament in him. Especially in a place where Dim misbehaves with girls, Alex tries to punch him when he was listening to classical music. Next is conformism. Conformism is observed in the life of Alex because Alex is forced to reconcile his arrogant individualism with his inability to live completely self-sufficient. That is after years of imprisonment and after meeting Alexander and after meeting his friend Pete, he tries to stay in a peaceful mood. Hope this video helps. If you have queries, please write it down. Thank you for listening.